Hey, I'm Corsac, and this is Late Night City. How's the uh, how's hey, the armor doing there, let's get Sheriff? Started. Thank you, everyone, for coming. We have some rather important business to discuss. For years now, the railroad has been operating against the interests of Diamond City under the feeble pretense of fighting the Institute. If anyone can explain how absconding with Institute synths, giving them brain damage, and releasing them fights the Institute, I'm listening. Far from fighting the Institute, this only forced the Institute to make more synths to replace the lost copies. Whether they are actually fooling themselves into believing that a shoplifter fights the clerk they steal from is not my concern. They are a threat. The time to stop them has arrived. We've analyzed the intel we obtained from a rather large cache of holotapes at a railroad safe house recovered by Lily. The organization is small, especially after the recent heavy losses they've suffered at the hands of the Institute. Suffice to say, along with this new treasure trove of intel on the railroad, makes now a better time than ever to strike and neutralize them. Their core operations are run by a couple handfuls of individuals to be found at two targets of interest. Dr. McClintock? Thank you, Dan. The railroad HQ is located in the catacombs below the Old North Church not far from the shoreline, at the end of the, uh bright red trail. The main entrance is accessed through the basement of the North Church itself, but, more importantly, it has an alternative escape route. This route leads to a door in the foundation of the house immediately north of where Lily's friend Pickman lives, only meters from the ocean. The railroad is almost as paranoid as we are, and they rely on these escape routes as their plan B. They have no plan C, as far as we can tell. Those tunnels are a death trap for an assault force without the element of surprise, which an assault-sized force would not have anyway. These are not gunners in an open area. These are desperate fighters who would have us at a huge disadvantage if we entered those tunnels. I am not willing to risk those kinds of casualties, so the doctor has devised a different plan utilizing a far less risky approach. If this all goes well, we will have neutralized the railroad headquarters and none of us will have stepped foot inside it. So listen carefully. The headquarters is well fortified, but it has a major weak spot that has been overlooked until now. It is close to water and below sea level. In the heart of a major city, this means the tunnel is an old pipe chase, Wait, and its proximity to water means there is a storm sewer main in it. Lieutenant Dan consulted Public Works blueprints we scabbed years ago and found that to be the case here as well. We don't know which tunnel they use, but all of them have storm mains, and nearly all of them have a length of at least one wall against the ocean. I think I know where this is going. Oh, you're a fucking genius, Babs. Storm sewers were built to carry excess rainwater to the ocean without overloading the sewer system and can handle very large volumes of water. They work passively because the city and main are higher than the ocean. This is no longer necessarily true as sea levels have risen since the war. At high tide, the sea levels are nearly as high as the street, reversing the flow of the storm mains and bringing ocean water into the system. The plan is to simultaneously blow the main entrance, escape route, and the storm sewer main at high tide. A broken storm main with the pressure of the ocean behind it will fill their headquarters in a matter of a couple of minutes, with them trapped inside. If we can find and blow a wall against the open ocean, we estimate the headquarters will fill in less than a minute. Lieutenant Crenshaw is heading up this operation. Whitworth has supplied him with several seismic charges. They will be more than sufficient to collapse both routes and fully fracture any large water main in the tunnel. Finding a wall of the tunnel to open to the ocean is a target of opportunity. Take it if it presents itself. Blow the charges, then wait. Wait for what? We wait for the water line inside the church to reach sea level. Somewhere along the steps to the basement, I'd imagine. Then we'll know it's done. Then it's on to the second objective. The target is possibly the last railroad operations facility in the Commonwealth. The so-called Ticonderoga Safe House in Monsignor Plaza. They occupy the old grey office building just to the south of the Monsignor Plaza Mall, as an entirely independent cell from the main headquarters. Just like the railroad main headquarters, this independence makes them fully capable of smuggling and releasing synths on their own. And it's these capabilities that make them both dangerous and an important target to neutralize. Close quarters indoor combat, sir. Are uh, we sure this target is that valuable? The target is indeed that valuable. However, actually entering the building to engage is plan B. If all goes well, it won't come to that. 
On the contrary, if all goes well, they will come to us. And we will never set foot inside the building until we verify it's empty. I don't know if I'm embarrassed for my training or proud of the doctor. But this is her plan too. So give her your attention. Our Babs is a gift that keeps on giving. If only Vault 81 knew what they lost. Um, <clears throat> yes, well, thank you, Lily. Totally having my wedding in your greenhouse. <laughs> Looking forward to it, sis, but as I was saying, Ticonderoga safe house. Sorry, everybody. I just get excited sometimes. It's okay. Anyway, as the sheriff said, the safe house is an old office building. A very vertical one, with a small ground footprint. The operation will be headed by Lieutenants Dan and Harkins, and I'm about to detail it, so listen up. Scouts have reported activity there for years, but we had no reason to suspect they were anything but scavers until now. They also report there are only two apparent exits from the building, an elevator and a doorway, both of which are locked most of the time. Lieutenant Dan will disable the elevator by forcing open the doors with his Halligan bar and opening the elevator car ceiling panel. At the same time, another deputy will open the building's HVAC air exchanger panel on the other side of the interior elevator pillar. They will set tire fires in the elevator car and the air handler and force the smoke into the building, up the elevator shaft and vent system. We scavved many industrial fans when constructing the greenhouse, so those will be no problem to obtain and use to move the smoke. Anyone who's walked more than 10 meters in the wasteland knows how noxious a burning tire is and will have concentrated it inside the building. This will inevitably force the occupants out of the only remaining exit, wow. a door on the ground floor mezzanine. Lieutenant Harkins will have deployed three turrets along the mezzanine to greet the agents when they come out of that door. The entirety of the Ticonderoga team will be waiting for any agents that get past the turrets and make it to the top of the mezzanine stairs. Once the turrets have stopped, two or three units will equip gas masks and sweep Ticonderoga for any and all survivors. Dang, doesn't that seem kind of unfair? Am I the only one here? I mean, you heard of shooting fish in a bucket, but like, almost literally? I mean, don't get me wrong, it's a good plan, Babs. Just kinda, I don't know, really brutally efficient? Shooting people when they don't have a prayer in hell of seeing me or surviving is my entire job description. Work smarter, not harder. The universe doesn't care about fair or unfair. This is war. The railroad must fall. The sooner it's over, the better for everyone. Lily, you are to meet Crenshaw in the alley in front of Pickman's house at nightfall. Do not be late. Do what he instructs, and our chances of success increase dramatically. Are there any questions? Yeah, I got one. Why am I here? What do you need my help for? Everyone's back from the Adam Cat's garage. You got the men. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm here, and I'm gonna do it. I'm just confused. There are other reasons. But I know you well enough to know I can't keep you from a fight you take personally. If you're going to show up anyway, we're going to coordinate and put you to good use. <laughs> we anticipate the railroad won't go quietly. If nothing else, maybe your sidekick can stop some bullets. Uh. Return here, and we will discuss our <laughs> other objectives after <laughs> we have dispatched the railroad. Are there any more questions before we head <laughs> I'm out? I'm a huge fan of that description. Brutally efficient is uh, putting it mildly. The doctor is highly intelligent and has no formal military training. The resulting unorthodoxy of her tactics is what makes them so valuable. This operation Let's will roll. test that assertion to the fullest. Keep yourselves and your teams wired tight, people. Tonight is very important. Bravery, faith in our comrades, and execution will win it. Dismissed. Good luck out there, everyone. I should drop by Pickman's place. Say hi sometime. Don't get over here as much as I should. He's a really nice guy. Hey, Crenshaw, we're as ready as we're gonna get. This all the sheriff is sending over to do this? Thought there'd be more people. This is all we need, Lily. They probably already know we're here. And three is a patrol, but any more of us, and they might start to get suspicious. Remember, this ain't an assault. This ain't even a surprise attack. We do this, and then we're out of here like farts in the wind. Nobody knows we were here. Here's the plan. Yeah. Lily, you guys get four charges to set. You gotta get down into the escape tunnel quietly and plant them carefully. 
So listen. Didn't they lock the door? How are we gonna get in? Yeah, but I used a crowbar on it. They left the hinges facing out. These railroad guys ain't too smart, but that's not listening. You guys are going down into the tunnels quieter than ghosts. One charges to block off their escape, use it as a narrow choke point. Two are for the storm drain. You need to fracture it at two spots so the entire section breaks off of it. And the last one is where you need to pay attention, Lily. You gotta place it on the wall that's facing the ocean. So you need your bearings down there. Check your T-60 compass from time to time. This is our best chance of a quick flood. Clear? Loud and clear, Crenshaw. You got the church? That's exactly what I'm doing. One scout can get in and out quieter and faster than your power armor and your groupie over there. <laughs> Put him down fast and quiet. Then meet back here so we can detonate and verify. Go with Lily and plant the charges. Yeah, we're not exactly known for subtlety. But hey, we'll do our best. Wow, there's certainly a lot of water flowing through here. Would be a shame if something were to happen when the door was locked. It would indeed. <laughs> I'll open on that. All right, this is the place. That's obviously the storm main. And I'll eat my power armor boot if that granite ain't a seawall. Get up there at that choke point and put your charge on the wall. Then let's get the fuck out of here. Oh. Good. I got my charges set. Let's get the fuck out of here. Now. <laughs> Hey. Everything go okay? You ready to blow it? Yeah, all the charges are set. Went real quiet. Pretty sure I found a seawall. Let it rip, my man. Good. No time to waste. Ladies and gentlemen, hold on to your suspenders. In three, two, one. Failed. Fuck, yeah. <laughs> to freedom. God, I love it when the ground shakes like that. <laughs> nice, nice. Whitmore knows this shit, that's for damn sure. All right, let's get to the church and check the water line. Keep your guns up, the blast might bring railroad who were topside. Or worse. Play your cards right, and you'll probably get shot in the head by someone not playing cards. But Aces and eights, baby. I wonder what's in here. I mean, aside from thoughts and prayers, which <laughs> don't seem to have worked. <laughs> oh, look at these guys. You dead? Oh, well, dead for now. <laughs> Holy shit! That filled kind of fast, huh? Fuck! Did it work? Did we really just do it, Crenshaw? Yeah, I'm pretty sure we just did. Probably a good thing we can't see what's happening down there right now to him. Yeah. Yeah, I get why we're doing it this way. It's not very fair, but fuck if it ain't effective. This entire thing just took a few of us. That's not to think about it, Lily. You should get going. Now that sounds like the second best idea I've heard all night. Wait. Did you hear that? From the church? Fuck. It's gotta be the railroad agents checking in on HQ. Move it! And we don't want to get caught in this bottleneck. Take out the agent. Yeah, I feel like we probably should have had some snipers on watch out front. 
Uh, might need that. In it. What's that noise? What's that noise? Pissed off railroad agent. <laughs> really, who's in the bottleneck here, huh? I'm gonna need to actually check where my HP is in a moment. And it's quite fine, apparently. That was easy. Excuse me. Looks like that's it for now. I'm gonna find a nice spot to hide outside the church for the next half hour or so to make sure no one goes in or out. You guys need to get moving to Ticonderoga for Dan and Linda's operation. Right. We're out of here, Crenshaw. Stay out of sight and make it back safe. What's left of the railroad are gonna be pissed the fuck off. <laughs> yeah, they are. Let's get this started right away. The longer we're here, the more likely it is they'll catch on to us. You ain't lying. So what you need us to do? We're really in a hurry here, so listen up. Once I light this fire, your personal assistant here is going to light the stack on the other side of the column for us. There's a scout by the HVAC unit on the other side of the elevator column waiting. Here, use this to light the tires. When you're done, go report to Lieutenant Harkins over there. Uh, who? Their side and laid it on fire. What's going on? <laughs> oh, not this way. <clears throat> now comes the fun part. You have a real weird idea of what's fun. You know that, right? Says the one who bends power armor frames into pretzels while raiders are still alive inside. You win that bet with Crenshaw yet, by the way? Exactly. Those were raiders. Eh. Raiders Railroad? They both start with R. You're my kind of psycho, Linda. Wow. Aw, that's the nicest thing anybody said to me all month. Anyway, our guest should be here soon. Listen up, people. Smoke is going to be flushing those agents out any minute now. They're coming down those steps, and it's the only way out. And you do not want to be up there, whatever you do. There'll be three turrets up there, and lead's going to be flying everywhere. We're here, in case any of them make it past the turrets, and I want them dead by the time they hit the bottom step, if they do. Everyone into position. Power armor up front to catch the bullets. Now we wait. Be patient. The turrets will tell us when they're here. Oh, this is so dark. <laughs> Where can I? Can I stand here and not hit anybody? I can, yeah. Nope. Oh, Dan. All right. I'll just go. I'll go extra wide. Hopefully. No. Get off the steps, guys. Wow. Those turrets didn't do shit. We got trouble. What the? Unlucky railroad age. God. Who 
the gunners. Yikes. <gasps> that, that felt brutal. <clears throat> I think that's everyone. At least everyone who had to come out. A couple of us have to go in there and verify there's nobody left. Then we can send the scavers in for intel. Let us take care of that, Dan. You sure? Your helmet cartridges got the filter life to handle the smoke? Yeah, we got this. Don't go nowhere. I'll be right back. Wouldn't dream of it. Here's a couple of gas masks we were going to use. We'll be waiting right here. Ooh. -hoo. Ooh, got somebody alive. This has got to be Deacon, right? Oh, it, it's Deacon or it's the, uh, that Assaultron thing they have. Name escapes me right now. It's got to be one of the two of them. Or not. That's that. Let's get back downstairs to Dan. This place is giving me the creeps. Yeah. All clear. Hi. How did it go in there? Yeah, he seems fine. Just one guy. Good work. Now moving on. We fucked that place up with all that smoke. Looks like the inside of one of DP's barbecues. Hope the sheriff wasn't planning on using it. I assure you, we're not moving in here. Now shut up and listen, Lily. Sorry. The sheriff had Delano radio us to report as soon as we're done here. We leave this to our scavers and head out right away. Report to the sheriff immediately. This isn't a merchant run we're talking about. HQ needs updates, and we need them fast. The city has triumphed over the railroad. I'm I'm the 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 I